Hello and welcome to another Planet Destiny video. Today we'll be going over the quest line to obtain the exotic pulse rifle, Bad Juju. To start off the quest line, you'll first have to get the exotic bounty, Tolan's Legacy. After accepting this, you will be tasked with completing a weekly heroic or nightfall strike. Since it doesn't matter which one you do, I suggest doing the weekly heroic strike on the lowest difficulty. Doing this ensures that it will be a quick run without the threat of starting over if you did it on the nightfall difficulty. After you complete your strike, go back to the tower and speak to Ikora Ray. She will have you track down the remaining fragments of Tolan's journal by completing 25 strikes. Now you can go about this a few different ways. Personally, I ran the highest difficulty vanguard strikes, the rock strikes. While they're only counted for one, you had the benefit of getting engrams, vanguard rep, marks, and other things. If you're interested in speed though, there are a few things that you could do. Running the summoning pits or the nexus with a group of friends on normal difficulty will take about 5 minutes each as long as you skip all of the trash mods in between encounters. If you have a dedicated group of friends to complete these strikes, then I honestly suggest getting them to run the weekly heroic strike on the lowest difficulty, as each run counts for 2. If your group is very confident in themselves, then running the nightfall will count as 3, but you run the risk of possibly wiping there and taking more time. Again, do whatever works best for you. I took my time with it and ran the rock strikes since I needed hadronic essences from the engrams I decrypted, and I got an exotic as well from doing those. After completing the strikes, you will go back to the tower and speak to Ikora Ray again. She leads you to the gunsmith who requires a pristine gun frame from Xur. This step can only be completed on a Friday or Saturday when Xur is in the tower. After this, you will be tasked with going into the crucible and getting 10,000 kills. It actually doesn't mean you need to kill 10,000 people, though. Death does not count against you like the Thorn Bounty, though, so really all you have to do is just go into the Crucible and have some fun. If you're looking to make the most out of your time, though, and are confident in your skills, then going into Rumble will be the quickest way to do this. Each game usually netted me about 25 kills in there, as opposed to maybe 18 or 20 in a control match. If you aren't that confident in your abilities, just go into a control match and defend some objectives. It may take you a while, but eventually you'll get there. The next and final step will be returning to the gunsmith and getting your new Bad Juju Pulse Rifle. For a full review on this weapon, click in the description below. This has been Patrick Casey with Planet Destiny, your guide to the Destiny Universe.